Ladies and gentlemen, there's been a lot going on with medical properties trusts in the last couple days. I'm actually kind of surprised that the stock price hasn't really moved a lot as a result. But then again, here we are. Expect the unexpected, ladies and gentlemen. So one thing, um, you know, this is just kind of an update on kind of already existing news. So uh, some of their Australian hospitals have closed. They're, they're selling their Australian hospitals um, in case you did not know that. And the first few have closed. They received a nice cash injection, use it to reduce the Australian term loan. So basically, uh, you know, to recap, they're selling their Australian properties and just using that money to uh, pay down debt rather than uh, refinance at higher interest rates. So it's kind of it's kind of just you know shuffling things around on the balance sheet uh, to sort of avoid those higher interest rates and to preserve shareholder value. And so that is basically going as planned with the first seven hospitals being closed upon and the money changing hands. So that's good news. That's going as planned. You don't really expect, I mean, it was basically a done deal to begin with, but, you know, glad to see that happening. If anybody had doubts that the deal would actually start, would the deal would actually close? Well, you know, you can kind of breathe a sigh of relief on that front. Um, now, the bigger thing, and this is really the thing I've personally been waiting to hear more information about, is this. So, Medical Properties Trust announces prospect recapitalization transactions. So, Prospect Medical Holdings is the tenant that's been very, very naughty, not paying the rent, okay? The rent, the rent, the rent, they have not been paying it, all right? Very bad. If, if you're a REIT and your third largest tenant is not paying rent, that really, really, really scares shareholders. This is one of the big reasons why the share price has been beaten up so badly lately. Well, as of now, the question of if they would resume rent payments has been answered as well as when, okay? So rent repayments, partial ones anyway, will resume in September and by March of 2024, they will be making the full rent payment, okay? So we know that rent payments will resume. Question answered. I would, I would think there would be relief in the market about that, but in my opinion, it gets even better than that in, in a certain sense. Because a part of this whole thing where they basically did, you know, a bunch of, made a bunch of moves, a mill here, a mill there, as uh, Tony Montana would say, they kind of did what amounts to in my opinion, sort of a bailout of prospect. Um, don't really know like a better way to put it, but in exchange, they're taking a big old chunk of Prospect Medical's managed care business. Now, um, the valuations I've seen have put that managed care business at around a billion dollars. And if that's the valuation they used, then, you know, there's potentially a very, very big chunk of that business is now going to belong to MPW and MPW shareholders. And hey, if that business grows, I mean, hey, the, the healthcare business as a whole, that industry is a, a very significant portion of GDP and growing. So there is a sort of upside potential. And I also like the, the idea that MPW kind of um, comes in like a in a, in, a, in a business move that you would think of maybe somebody like a Tony Soprano doing, be like, hey, you owe me money. Now, a piece of everything you own now belongs to me, right? So they kind of are saying, hey, like, we're gonna, th this is what we're gonna do for you and dig you out of this hole, but we want a piece of the action in exchange. And hey, 
I'm always happy to get a piece of that. I got a shareholder of MPW. I now get a piece of that action. And hey, there is some upside potential with this, but you know, even if that doesn't necessarily play out with the um, with the managed care business, you know, appreciating substantially or growing in value, at least we have now a path forward for rent payments to resume because this is a REIT. Our primary focus is, um, you know, rent payments. <laughs> we want to be bringing in more rents than what we're paying in, you know, costs and you know, debt service, etc. We want. You know, we want good funds from operations to service our, you know, dividends as shareholders. So we have a path forward on that. That's the most critical thing to me. That's what I care about. I, I just want the rent, the rent, the rent. And I don't want anyone telling me it's too damn high, okay? So I think that you know, now that this question is answered and that they've... Uh, you know, closed on some of those Australian hospitals. Debt's been some debt's been paid down, etc. They've um, reorg reconstituted their uh, whole thing with uh, Prospect. I f I'm I'm personally breathing a little bit of a, a sigh of relief on this. You know, I th I figured they would figure out a solution here and figure out a way forward. That seems to be what MPW does with difficult situations, but the fact that there's actually now some, you know, some kind of announcement to, you know, to tell us what's happening and when, that makes me, you know, feel a bit better about the situation and realize that, you know, I was, you know, more or less, I feel vindicated that management would figure out a way to go forward with prospect and get that rent income coming back in. So, you know, granted, yeah, it, we'll see in September, I guess, if they actually, um, you know, make good on this whole plan. But, um, you know, I think, you know, if they were confident enough to announce that specific timeline, that management's probably pretty confident that this deal will work out. And I'm glad to see it. And um, uh, maybe we'll see, you know, some kind of recovery in our share price. I wouldn't bank on it, but... I think there is a better chance that this dividend is able to remain intact now than maybe there was when it was uncertain about the uh, the rent repayments. So, hey, I like it. I, if you found this news helpful, please do me a favor and throw a, a thumb up on the video and also do me a favor and comment below if you have any kind of uh, additional input about this whole uh, restructure with prospect if you have shares in mpw let me know what your cost basis is hop on discord we talk about mpw and a bunch of other stocks on the discord and other investment ideas it's what we do is what we love take it easy everyone and have a wonderful day and cheerio